Okay, I want to show you how to change the background design of the uh, your Google site. Okay, suppose you want to change the background image of your uh, Google site. And there are ser several different things you can do to customize the background design, colors, and stuff like that. So I want to show you a couple of different things you can do. Okay, first thing I want to show you is to change the background image. Okay, right now this uh, blue-green pattern you know grayish background that's the background on this site and if you don't like that if you want to change something else you can customize it but you have to have the background image to do it so good okay. I'll show you what I mean by that so go to more and go down to manage site and on the left hand side let's set, scroll down and go down to colors and fonts and this is a preview you get and this is how the, all the items you can customize and this background is actually a page wrapper background image so if you change this image this will also change and the page wrapper background image Okay, let's click on view image so this image is used for the page wrapper and uh, that's why it looks like this so if you want to change the background image this background image what you have to do is replace this image with something else it's a little bit complicated a little bit difficult if you want to customize if you just want to change this area you can't because the whole thing this whole thing is just one image and if you want to change something in the background you would have to edit this image and replace the existing image with the one you just cre uh, newly created so that's how you change this image here and also, a page background image, don't be confused with uh, this background image here. The page background image, okay, let's view image. Okay, that's nothing. So, page background image is... Not this background. If you change the page background image, it will show up somewhere else. Uh, in fact the image will show up on the bottom of the page some other things you can change is site header background image site header is this part this area if you want to use your own photo or something you can cost cost you know you can use for example if you want to use this for a banner this image is not going to be good for the banner anyway but let me let me show you what I mean by that if you do that Now you have your uh, your own banner image here, but in my case, I'm gonna just uh, use it. Yeah, stay with the, the theme default. And uh, in the same way, there are other places you can change the background image. So, for example, content background image. Right now, the content background image is just plain white. But if you use your own image, your background image is going to change like that. I'm going to use uh, theme default. So that's a content background image. So that's how you can change the background images of many different parts of your site. Another thing you can do is, of course, you can just uh, not use the uh, the image at all you use page background color you know so you can remove the image for example remove the background image and if you do that oh actually if you remove this um, page wrapper background image okay so default background just plain black then you can also customize the page with the colors 
you can change back on color for example to yellow I don't know why you want to do that but then and a content page then content background color I'll change that to like I don't know why you want to do that but red <laughs> now it's red and so th in this way you can customize different sections I made it worse but you know this is just for demonstration purpose so and you can mess around and you know, try th try things out as long as you don't save it's not gonna be permanent and one thing you can do is clear all customizations and start from just a plain white nothing there and okay so I totally messed up my site design so I'm not gonna save I'm gonna just cancel another thing you can do is manage site again instead of uh, customizing a tiny bits and pieces of the part, the site what you what else you you can do is go to uh, themes and you just pick a theme you find the theme more attractive for example then you pick it and you preview and that's what it's gonna look like if you pick that theme and if you click on that and preview with this theme it's gonna look like this and these themes are pretty simple but if you go to colors and fonts again leave this page and instead go here browse more themes you can browse many hundreds and hundreds of themes here and for example if you like this better you think pick this and you can even preview before you decide to apply it okay so it's gonna look your, your size is gonna look like this if you do that suppose you you like this and you know if you decide to use this then you just select now it looks like this if it doesn't work out you know just keep applying the new theme so these theme collection theme galleries are more complex you know compared to their earlier uh, simple themes Th these themes are more complex The menu and the text and all the, the elements on the page pages will stay and even if you apply different themes it's not gonna the, the content is not gonna change so so that's another way you can customize the the look and feel of your Google site again uh, if you're happy with it you save but there's an option for canceling to you know just stay with the, the original if you don't didn't like the, the changes you made so yeah, here's how you do so if you have any more questions uh, please let me know